I do believe that's wintergreen. But why would she be collecting wintergreen? Oh, thank God. You, Scotsman, help me. Did you see it? Did you see the ghost? Aye, I did. All right, maybe I can help. Right, soldier, spill. What's going on exactly? What happened to Nurse Wings? What do you think happened? She died, that's what happened. She died, and now she's trying to take me too. Why would she want you dead? She's a ghost. She ain't here for beer and biscuits. He's right, in a way. She is killing him. Your cough is no better. Worse, if anything. Aye, it worsens. When she comes, I sicken. She's a better nurse living, I tell you that. Where does her ghost go, you think? She comes and goes through a locked door. After that, not a clue. Is there a key? Or another way in? Perhaps. This was the blockhouse upon a time. There was a passage out. Through the westernmost tower. I had a key. Search my things in the barracks if they haven't been plundered. Might still be there. Right, well, I'll look into things. You stay here. Where in shite you expect I'll go? You stay here. Go on then, cheeky bastard. So sweet Nurse Wings, kind and caring, comes back as a vengeful ghost. It happens, but in this case I doubt it. If she was acting, she did a bloody good job. As I remember, Peabody's things are here. Perhaps the key is amongst them. All right, we have what we came for. Why would she up and leave like that? And why has she not... Maybe she had an accident. She kept records. Maybe she wrote it down. Here's our tower.
My thanks. Mr. McCraith, forgive me. I did not see you there. I see you bring company. How lovely. Good day to you, Nurse Wings. My name is Antea Duarte. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Duarte. What brings you to Fort Jericho? I've been here a while now. You just couldn't see me. What do you mean? I can see you just fine. You and I are very much alike, Nurse Wings, don't you think? Are we? How so? I'm a ghost, Nurse Wings. And so are you. Are you sure you're well, Miss Duarte? You sound feverish. Perhaps you need to lie down and rest? I don't rest, Nurse Wings. Sound familiar? She won't be told. We'll have to prove it to her. If you need it, I may still have some vervain. You let me know. Goodbye, Nurse Wings. For now. I'll be here. As ever. Aye. That's the problem. She won't listen. We must find proof. Poor Nurse Wings is losing her grip. She neither sleeps nor eats, but doesn't question it. She gets her sustenance elsewhere now. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. There's an echo here. But we need the tie. Our denial runs deep and Peabody sickens. But John no spoke of a cliff top hideaway. Our cozy wee pub then. Right. Let's go for a walk. Anne's medics remind me of my mother's. The oils and ointments, infusions and concoctions. I bet she knew her business. She treated the men the slavers worked to death in the fields. Though she had little money, she was very famous. That's what saved her. I think we found her. There's an echo. How long has she been here? No more than a few days. Here's the key to the infirmary. A drop may hide the rain. No journal. It may have slid from her fingers and fallen. Let's retrieve it.
I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. It's about to shoot. Try this on for size. Veiled shield. Get lost, won't you? Pay me good money. This looks like the place. Let's find the journal. She knew something was wrong. Yet now that she has died, her ghost denies it. She was a healer. Perhaps dedication binds her. A dedication her patient scarcely deserves. We should go back to the infirmary. Anne will surely be there.
Anne reminds me of more Mackenzie. We hid in her house when we were running from the English. She washed our wounds and sang as we buried the dead. Never stopped smiling. I like her already. They burned the house down with her inside. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe more still haunts the ruins, waiting for the next poor wounded soul. to you too, Mr. Peabody. As you were, Mr. Peabody. See about. Not like I can go anywhere anyways. raise for now the veil of shadows. Hold still. Get your filthy hands off me! That's enough, Mr. Peabody. Get off me, you evil old frigate! In his temper, Cotton Peabody gave Anne Wings the disease that killed her. Oh, still here, are you? What new comedy do you two bring me now? Cotton Peabody's health concerns you greatly, true? I'm a very good nurse. I think you know what he needs. I think you know his remedy. He must have wintergreen. Fresh oil, decocted, then used as a salve. Yet, though you treat him, his condition worsens. You must have noticed. To maintain the illusion of life, you feed upon his essence. Even as you tend to him, you leech his life away. No. No. Your memory is fading. It is not. At least, I don't think it is. Once you kept meticulous records. Now your notes, if you keep them at all, are, are chaotic. It's just that I'm all alone. No one to talk with. No one to share a laugh with. I've gone a little potty. How long is it since last you slept? How long since last you ate? Well, I have been very busy. You're tired, but cannot sleep. You're hungry, but can't face eating. Time to face the truth. No, it's just... I'm tired. I forget things. I forget to stop working. Nurse Wings. Anne. You're dead. Just like Antea. You've convinced yourself you're still alive, but... You are not. But... If Mr. Peabody withers by my presence, then why does your woman not wither you? I would, but I take my strength from other people. My God! I could never do that! Then the longer you stay to treat your patient, the quicker he will die. No. No! Hold there, Nurse Wings! Anne! I can help you! Let me help you! She's heading back to where her body lies. Anne, are you there? If I take another step, if I fall, I won't die. 
No, you won't die. All I wish was to save a soul. Just one soul at a time. Cotton. It's time we put an end to this. The devotion of poor Anne Wings, who even dead, kept on caring. No. Her ghost hungers for essence and calls it caring. You must get well. Tis all I want. But by staying, I've been doing you harm. For that, I beg your forgiveness. Oh, Mr. McRaith? Peabody, we must talk. This sounds ominous. Where lies the problem? You're the one who made her sick. The day you spat on Anne Wings, you gave her your disease. I never spat on... No. Wait. I did. She was at me with the lancet. The pain gave me a wee touch of fury just for a moment. I gulped without thinking. You knew you were infectious. You wished to harm her. It was an attack. So, Nurse Wings died trying to heal you. You believe her ghost returns to harm you. Interesting. Well, all good things they say come to an end. I'll miss our little chance. You're a dedicated nurse. All you do, you do with love. But right now, you're a threat to your last patient. He needs me. I just want to help. Does he need you? Do you really want to help? What comedy is this? You've been the dedicated nurse for so long, you're afraid that if you stop, you'll cease to exist. Let it go, Anne. You've done a great job. The job is done. Cotton Peabody deserves to get well. And only I would treat him. We'll do what we can for him. You've done enough, Anne. You won't be forgotten. All right, then. If you're sure. Thank you. You have no more reason to stay. Is she gone? Am I safe? It's over. Anne Wings is gone for good. Gone for good? Aye. Great.